welcome back. Well guys, today we're going to get out in the garage and we're going to do two things today primarily. Number one, we're going to take this vintage axe head that I picked up from a friend of mine yesterday and we're going to work on putting a new handle in it, cleaning it up and just kind of touching up the edge and at the same time, we're going to, as promised, we're going to cook an oyster stew in this pot on top of the wood heater. So come along with me and let's have a good time today. All right, so now we've got to take this pot and it's ready to go. I'm just going to set it down here and I need to get my recipe together, my list of ingredients that I need. And I'm going to hustle over to the grocery store and get all of that balled up and we'll get it here on the workbench and, and we'll check back in then. Looky here, we've got a fire going and an old broken axe handle laid up in there for good measure. And we've got our pot set up on top of here. She's starting to warm up and it won't be long. I'll spread out all the ingredients We'll look at all that and get ready to start cooking up an oyster stew out in the garage. All right, guys, so we're back from the grocery store and I want to give a big hats off, kudos to my sweet wife, man, Willa Jean. She, you know, chopped all this stuff up and got it in little bowls and in a tray and had everything, you know, just got everything ready for me so that all I had to do was just tote the little tray down here and, and everything I needed is on it to make the oyster stew. And, We've got everything here. We've got butter, we've got spring onion, we've got some flour. Uh, in this bowl here, we've got onion, celery, and garlic all mixed together. Got a Tabasco sauce. We've got some evaporated milk that we're going to use. We've got really good oysters. Man, these are the ones that are out of the cold case. Really good. They, wasn't, they weren't cheap, I can tell you that. Got a little bit of olive oil here. So this is pretty much everything we're going to need. We've got our oyster crackers that we're going to use once we get ready to eat this stuff. So right now, you know, i got the fire going. You saw that. We've got the pot getting hot. It won't be just a few more minutes, and that thing will be warm enough to start cooking this stuff up. And listen, it ain't going to take long. Probably about, at the most, maybe 30 minutes at the very most to cook this stuff up. And that's it. We'll be eating oyster stew for lunch. All right, we're about ready now. So what I'm gonna do is take the lid off. I'm gonna put in some, let's put in a little bit of olive oil. I like olive oil. Put some of that in there. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, we're going to put in some butter. Let's let that melt down. The butter's all melted. We're ready to stir in the, the veggies, the onions, the garlic, all that stuff. Up in there. Stir it in. We're going to simmer this up and then in just a few minutes we'll probably just simmer this and then put uh, the next ingredients in. It won't take too long. All right, let's check on this onion and garlic. Whoa, look at that. I wish you could smell this. So good. About five or six more minutes maybe. So this thing's been simmering now about 10 minutes. Got a lid off here. Now we're going to put in some flour, just some all-purpose flour. And once we put this in, we've got to stay with it. Stirring it in, and keep it stirring for about five minutes here. simmer them for another 10 minutes. Alright, so we're just going to let this baby just sit here and simmer. And I'm going to come over here just, you know, every few minutes and just kind of check on it. We're just going to let it just simmer. We don't want to boil or whatever, just, just simmer there on top of the stove and it'll be fine. Right there. So we're going to give it 10 minutes and check back. 
All right, so while this baby's cooking, I'm gonna go on over here and we'll work on the ax head and the ax handle a little bit in the other video. All right, so let's go do that. All right, man, look at it simmering, it's doing good. What I did was I had to open the door and shove some wood in it to get the temperature up a little bit to get it to work and simmer. It was just such low heat that it was hot, you know, but it wasn't quiet enough. And so we're getting it there, man, looking good. Look how it's thickening up. So we're, we are just about ready. It won't be much longer and we're gonna put the oysters in and start seasoning this baby up. Almost there. Oysters will be coming next. All right, so here's the oysters. And they're fresh, man. I mean, these things are awesome. They weren't cheap either, okay? So we're gonna put two eight ounce containers of oysters the juice at all, okay? You wanna put all of it in there. All right, so let's do that. Let's get the lid off and dump these in, stir them in. All right, so there we go, we've got 16 ounces of oysters in there. We're gonna let that stir in now. And listen, we're gonna let this simmer for about another 10 minutes, okay? We're gonna cook these oysters good. I don't, I don't mess around with oysters. Some people eat them raw, not Andrew. I want that mess cooked. Nowadays, it'd be a good way to get sick. All right, so we're gonna put the lid back on this baby. We're gonna let it simmer for 10 minutes, and then we're gonna come back and put the salt and the pepper and the hot sauce and all of that stuff in it. Let it simmer a few more minutes, and then we'll be ready to eat. That's what I'm talking about. Oyster stew in the garage. All right, guys, this baby is right. She is right. So what I did to help control the heat was when I got it to the point that this thing was really getting you know, good and toasty, I just slid a big, chunk of steel underneath the pot just to lower that temperature some. Now this cast iron holds its heat a long time so it'll cook right there for you know another 10 or 15 minutes even though I effectively took away a lot of the heat. sit another five or ten minutes let that thing just do its thing there one last check on this thing before we're gonna give it the thumbs up and say that it's done oh yeah see it's just barely simmering barely simmering mm. oysters are looking good see how the little edges here are starting to curl that's good this thing's done right now. You could eat it now. It's just, I like to let it simmer and get all those flavors in there. Ooh, ooh, that's good. All right, she's done. I'm gonna take it off. We're gonna go up to the workbench and get us a bowl of it going. Get ready to eat. There she is. Voila. And look at that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's get a bowl of this. Yes, sir. This old pot has turned out good just what I wanted it for. All right, now it ain't oyster stew unless you put some oyster crackers in it. Let's see if I can open this up, put a few in there. Here we go. And 
here it is. Mm. Eat your heart out. And I'm gonna eat the oyster stew. All right, so how do you eat oyster stew? Out in the garage, in your favorite old school Lazy Boy recliner. Watching a little TV. I got some graveyard cars going today. Enjoying this oyster stew. Let's get us an oyster there. Oh, she's hot. Well, I really appreciate you hanging out with me out here and watching me cooking oyster stew on top of the wood heater with our old rusty pot that we fixed in a video back a few videos ago. It's been a great day, man. It's just beautiful weather outside. I've been able to work on my axe a little bit in between, and we're gonna get that thing finished up here in just a little bit. All right, so thanks for coming out. I appreciate you. All right, guys, we've had a great weekend, man. You know, it's been a wonderful Sunday. The weather's been fantastic. And we got out here, we was able to cook the oyster stew. We were able to fix the, you know, the beautiful true temper double bit ax that my friend uh, from the crosscut saw training class gave me, Mr. Dennis Helton. Two thumbs up, Dennis. But I need to apologize to my buddy, Rick Gillespie. Rick is subscribed to my channel and he comments a lot. I love that guy, man. Rick, I love you, miss you. What a good guy. And I gotta say that, you know, he had asked to be here when I cooked in the little pot on the stove. And, you know, we did the oyster stew today and it just sort of come together fast. You know, it was kind of like, oh yeah, I think today I'm gonna do the oyster stew. And I went and rounded up and stuff. And, and so Rick, I apologize, man. I, you know, I messaged you, but I didn't give you but about 40 minutes of heads up. And I'm so sorry, guy, you're so good. I'm gonna make it up to you. We're gonna do a beef stew or something out here, something that cooks slow. And I'm gonna make sure that I invite you and put you in the next video, all right? Thanks, Rick, I love you. Thanks for all of you who subscribe to my channel. You guys are great. Uh, I appreciate every one of you. You know, and I don't get in a whole like and subscribe and all that, but if you leave comments, whatever, I'll make sure I mention you in my videos. You know, that's important to me when you comment. You know, if you like, I don't know who you are. If you subscribe, I don't know who you are. But if you leave a little comment, that's important to me. Tell me what you think, even if you don't like it or you disagree with me, that's okay. You know, that's the great part of uh, critical thinking is that looking at what other people look at, how they feel, and that's important to me. So if you don't like what I'm doing or you see something that I can do different or do better, put a comment, man, I appreciate it. And I'll acknowledge it, I'll acknowledge it in a video and we'll talk about it, okay? Hey, I love all of you and I'll see you in the next video.